Hi, I'm Alex, 22 from Windsor, Ontario. But I lived I lived in Toronto for about three years. I went to OCAD University for graphic design, but then I dropped out because of mental health and financial reasons. While I was there, I started to socially transition, and uh, I was starting. I was trying to start to physically transition, but I only got as far as calling to make appointments and leaving messages. People knew me as Alex. Um, people used he or they pronouns with me. I was getting like more involved with the trans community in Toronto. Um, and then I moved back here and I started going to college here for still graphic design um, because it was cheaper and I really did want to finish my program. I've been following this project pretty much since it started when it was just the FTM calendar. I bought last year's trans calendar and when they put out the call for this year I really wanted to be a part of it because I was back in Windsor and I didn't have I didn't have a connection to the trans community um, as I did when I was in Toronto but there are two trans groups here um, though technically it's one trans group but one meets at the beginning of the month and one meets at the end but it's the same people so it's pretty much the same group I'm going to my second year of college here I really like my program I'm technically I'm technically a freelance um, graphic designer already. I've done, I've done some work for like family and friends, um, but like that was sort of unpaid work. But then I did some work for some Toronto programs, just like flyers or posters, stuff like that. And that was paid work. With graphic design, I initially I wanted to do more magazine fashion work like that. I really want to combine it with some form of activism and social justice work. I've researched a few design firms whose like their main goal is more socially conscious design which is what I'd like to focus more on. Family-wise, um, I came out to my family about two years ago but it, it's mostly been denial on their part. Um, my older brother is kind of okay with it. He has a he has a family, and when I'm up at his house, because he lives in he lives in he lives in Montreal, so when I go up to visit him, he usually refers to me between my birth name and Alex. So his wife and his daughter refer to me as Alex and use male pronouns and everything. Her family uses male pronouns for me too, but everyone else, it's mostly denial and. Uh, I think I think a large part of it is because I'm really effeminate and they have really strict ideas of masculinity so the fact that I don't really fit into that makes it hard to understand for them anyway I think I'm not even gonna try to explain being non-binary or genderless to them because just the idea of being FTM is like hard enough apparently and then there's like my whole extended family which is like a whole nother story basically my whole family knows that I'm trans because when I was trying to get top surgery everybody called to tell me not to do it and then when I ended up canceling my surgery because other family members of mine they had some financial problems so I took my top surgery money and not all of it but some of it and helped them and so because I had to cancel the surgery and everybody was really happy and thought okay well now that's done so I'm not trans anymore because I'm not getting the surgery uh, but that's not really how it works so I'm, I'm hoping that it gets better uh, over time when I actually start taking hormones and then maybe we'll have an actual conversation about it. School-wise, uh, I am not out-out because I don't really want to deal with any more invalidation about my gender just because I'm really effeminate and I'm not on hormones and I want to wait. Two of my school friends here know. I came out to them last year at the um, the last day of school and they took it really well. Um, at the very least, at school they call me Alex. so. I'm not really trying to hide 
my transness that much. I mean, like, social media-wise. Like, when I friend people on Facebook, I have all this stuff on my wall uh, about being trans, and there's pictures and stuff, so it's all there. This summer, I've been, I've been trying to get materials together to build my own silkscreen so I can, like, design and make t-shirts uh, to sell for top surgery money. I always think I'm going to spend the summer drawing and painting and doing other art, art craft work, but I never end up doing any of that. I've slowly been getting back into my comic books because a friend of mine, she went away on vacation and she gave me a list of comics that were coming out that she wanted me to buy for her and she gave me the money so it wasn't like here buy me this. Every time I've gone into the the comic book store I'd end up looking around and looking around and now like I thought like, all of this like look at this this is ridiculous every time I go in to buy her comics and it's only it's only gonna get worse from here I don't know if I'm gonna have room to put any more of these comic books because I mean like there's like bookshelves and DVDs and there's like some comics under there and some comics under there. I'm currently reading, I don't, one, two, I don't know how many books. I tend to start books and then as I'm reading those books, I wander through bookstores and buy new books to start reading. So I'm kind of in the middle of 1984, A Clockwork Orange, uh, Bell Hooks book, um, an Audre Lorde book, uh, Sister Outsider book on religion not like not like all at once usually if I'm going on a trip somewhere I'll take one of the books I'm in the middle of reading and then depending on the mood where I'm going and I want a book I actually only have one actual bookmark that I bought and everything else is scraps of paper I guess I really like reading uh, uh, I'm really I'm really glad to be a part of this project because visibility is important to me I don't really see um, myself reflected that often. I like that this project really um, showcases the diversity of the trans community. I am black, non-binary, femme, trans person. It would have mattered to me to see someone like me when I was slowly realizing my transness and so uh, 